based feature. A rib requires a 2D sketch. I'm going to choose the top face of this model as my sketch plane. Notice that I am only sketching a single line. This is all you need for creating a rib. The other thing to note is that the endpoints of the line do not have to connect to the surrounding geometry. Inventor will automatically extend the rib to the surrounding features or faces, which is one of the things that makes the rib such a powerful tool. Once the sketch is finished, I'll select the rib icon from the toolbar. Now, the properties for the rib are pretty simple. All I have to do is select the profile, which in this case is the line that I just sketched. Next, I need to tell Inventor which direction to extend the rib. You can click on the two different options to see a preview of the rib. In this example, I want it pointing towards the model. Notice the Extend Profile setting which is checked here. This is what tells Inventor to extend the rib to all of the surrounding features, even though the line I sketched didn't extend all the way. If I uncheck the box, you can see the rib does not extend to the surrounding features. I'll recheck the box. The next setting here is the rib thickness. This can obviously be changed, but notice these icons here. Right now, Inventor is splitting the rib thickness evenly to both sides. You can instead control this to place the rib on one side of the sketch line or the other. I'll set this back to be evenly distributed. You also have some behavior options. The default setting is to extend the rib all the way up to the next piece of surrounding geometry. If you wanted the rib to terminate at a specific depth, you can change this from to next to finite and type in a depth. For this example, I'll change this back to to next. The last option you have with the rib is this draft tab. Ribs are often used on molded or cast parts which require a draft. So, if this is the case, you can type in your draft angle here. Notice the preview shows you which direction the taper is going. You can type in either a positive or negative value to ensure the taper is going in the right direction. I'll set the draft angle back to zero, click OK, and the rib is complete. The example we went through here was pretty simple, but ribs can actually be used in much more complex situations and the up to next behavior can be quite powerful. Let me switch to another part to show you another quick example. Here, I've already created a sketch with several profiles, none of which extend up to any surrounding geometry. Also notice how this part tapers in toward the bottom. The rib tool is perfect for this and lets me create all of it in a single feature. I'll launch the rib tool, select all of the profiles, Press the direction button and make sure the direction is pointing towards the bottom of the part and I'll set the rib thickness to 0.06. Since this part has draft, you would probably want to taper on these ribs as well so it can be ejected from a mold. So I'll type in 3 degrees for the draft angle and press OK. When I do, the rib feature is complete and you can see how the ribs extend up to all of the surrounding geometry. Something that would have been much more difficult or even impossible using other types of features.